Okay, so in the previous video, you should have completed the setup of your own Apple ID, which is your number at schools.edin.org, your school email address. You will also have chosen a password for that, and it's really important that you remember that password. That is yours for your Apple ID for your school iPad. Okay, what you should see now, if you go into settings, as you should see at the top there, your name uh, to show that you are signed in to the iPad with your Apple ID. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna go and get the Office 365 apps and we're gonna get signed in to them. So I'm gonna to go to the App Store. I'll be signed in, if you click on the top right, you'll be able to see that you're signed in there as well. And I'm gonna go along the bottom bar, I'm gonna to go to search and I'm gonna look for OneDrive like this. And I'm gonna search. And what I should see is Microsoft OneDrive I've downloaded this before, so I've got a little cloud. Yours will be a get button there, um, and you can click that, and what should then happen is the OneDrive app should download to your iPad. Now, there are a selection of apps you're gonna to need to download for Office 365. These are your OneDrive that we're doing just now. You'll also need to do Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Teams. I've downloaded all of them already onto this iPad, but you'll take a bit of time to do that. And once it's all done, what you should see is a set of apps that looks something like this. All the apps are sitting there waiting to be used. What we're now gonna do is we're gonna sign into these apps. Now, when we sign in here, we are signing in with your Microsoft ID. Now that is your number, but it has a different suffix from your email address. So be very careful with this, please. I've got a test account here I'm gonna sign in with just to show you what happens. Now the suffix is at ea.edin.sch.uk, at ea.edin.sch.uk. Now when we click through on that, what you should get next is an Edinburgh page like this. And what this is asking for again is just your number in this case, and your network password in the school, the password that you use to log into any of the PCs in the school. So I've got a test one again here. And when you sign in, that will sign you into the OneDrive for your Office 365 account. And you can see here, these are the files for this test account. I am using here. Okay, so that's OneDrive signed into. Let's look at another app. Let's look at the Outlook app. That's the app for email. So I've loaded Outlook and you'll notice that it's already identified the account that I've signed into OneDrive with, the same one. So I'm just gonna add account. And that should be all I need to do. Maybe later there from another account. And you can see there, I have now got the email for this test account. Let's look at one or two more. Let's look at Word. If we open Word, if any of these apps ask for a sign-in, you're looking at your number at ea.edin.sch.uk. And you can see here, this has all been done for us. In fact, if we go to open, you will see, again, there's those files from the OneDrive. And that's all you need to do through all these Office apps to get yourself set up to go.